so in this video you are going to learn about that one i have changed the input of that sinusoidal so here is a function generator input previously i have connected of that minus terminal minus means inverting terminal i have connected so i have connected of that one sinusoidal is connected to the minus terminal so due to the minus of the input that's why your output is just inverted output so plus means minus of that output inverted output of the square waveform is produced suppose i am connected this one source is connected to that plus terminal if i will going to connect the source is plus terminal means it's a same output no okay no inverted plus means called non inverting so if i will going to give see for example the circuit diagram you can see that one where is my source source is connected through the resistance connected to the plus terminal plus means called non inverting non inverting means here is a plus 50 means same plus 50 so it is a minus 50 means minus 50 so here is the same so what is output it's a square wave output what is the input sinusoidal input okay that's all so let's we're going to see about that one waveform so here is a connections so it is what is a connection second pin number two so pin number two is i have changed it to that ground you have to see that one so this is a red color so it is a resistance resistance to ground only i have connected so ground closer closely you can observe it so red wires resistance is connected connected to that ground so this is a black color used to it's a common ground i make so see the waveform so here where is a positive it's a positive if it is a positive means same output also positive output also positive if it is a negative means output also negative so that's all so this is a i have connected for the day input as in plus terminal plus terminal means it's a non-inverting non-inverting means no 180 degree passive so this is about that input source connection of the plus terminals so that's all so now the it is a similar for the sigma trigger as well as zero crossing detector so positive amplifier as well as negative amplifier so what is the positive amplifier source is connected to the positive terminal positive amplifier source is connected to the negative terminal that's why it's a negative amplifier so what worry about that one thank you if you have see the connections one more thing so you will going to see the connections so what is the source so plus terminal is connected to that through the resistance sinusoidal pin number three so pin number three is connected pin number three is connected so this is the input on top of that one so input where is a plus so plus terminal with respect to the ground so pin number three so through the resistance here is a pin number three is there through the resistance it is connected to the ic3 okay so i will going to slowly remove the connections then you will going to coming to know that one so why you will going to easy to understand the connections so first one so what is the seventh pin seventh pin is a plus vcc i mean 12 volt and then fourth pin is a minus vcc so i want to remove these two pins so where is that one plus terminals so here is a plus vcc if you have see that one so rps this is a rps power supply so plus vcc okay and other one is a ground and then minus vcc yes so seventh terminal is a plus vcc see that one plus vcc so i will going to remove the plus vcc is removed from this pin number seven okay so pin number seven plus vcc is removed okay from what is the minus vcc pin number four so where is a four this is a one two three so fourth pin see that one minus vcc fourth pin is connected so i will going to remove the fourth pin of the minus vcc then next one what is the pin number uh, six pin number six is output so output of the cro is connected here see there so pin number six is i have removed so that's all output of that point is uh, removed very simplest connection then what is the next one is there so here is a resistance so resistance is there where is the resistance pin number two see there so here is a point red point red point two i have removed so resistance one end resistance is another end is where it is connected through the black color it is connected to the ground so this is a resistance one end is removed okay then next one what is there pin number three if i have see that one pin number three pin number three one resistance resistance to the you have function generator plus you have applied yes so that's all so you have going to remove for that this is a resistance then so total is a total circuit is removed so you can go to make the circuit very fastly so how to you will going to make the circuits 
so what is the first one plus vcc plus vcc is a pin number 7 is a plus vcc so this i am taking the plus vcc pin number 7 yes i have connected the seventh pin over then minus vcc it means minus 12 uh, volt i am going to connect the fourth pin yes connection is over uh, then what is the next one the output terminal pin number 6 is output terminal yes so 7 after that is 6th so i am going to connect it yes so 6th terminal is over output terminal is over the next one is the input side input side okay i am going to connect it for the turn two terminal and the third, third terminal 1 1 kilo ohm resistance i need to connect so i am taking for the 1 1 kilo ohm of the resistance so i am going to take so second number pin number 2 pin number 3 so both side i am going to connect it so which one you want to give the in, uh, okay input so you want to decide it whether you want to give that one 2 for that uh, minus or uh, 3 for that uh, plus so okay i will going to give the input to the two terminals okay then you can keep it on that one okay so here you will going to give plan to you can give for that input okay function generator input you can give so minus terminal you can ground it yes you can ground yes so common ground i want to make so ground then rps is minus is there that minus is you will going to ground yes you will going to ground so over then this is a what you want to connect it function generator plus you can connect it so take the function generator input terminal so take the function generator input terminal so plus terminal c will go to So plus plus is connected to the pin number 2 so pin number 2 through resistance i am going to connect it over through resistance pin number 2 so function generator minus terminal that minus terminal i am taking okay and connected and then connected to the ground okay so i want to measure the cro cro input also i want to measure so that's why so take the cro plus so connect it to the function generator plus so here is a minus of that one i'm okay see that one this is cro so cro input so function generator input cro input i am going to taking so the same is input is i am going to give the pin number 2 with respect to the ground over so similarly output is what is output pin number 6 is a plus is given and then minus terminal you want to give so through one thing through the one cable and connect it to the minus over connection is a this is a method of the connections very simplest connections if it is sigma trigger means what is sigma trigger so sixth pin is connected to the ground yes that is called a sigma trigger so sixth pin where it is that one seven then after that six so connect the sixth pin and with respect to the ground yes so this is a sigma trigger type of the connections so this is about the connection diagrams very simplest connection diagram you can see the circuit diagram you can make the connections thank you see that one actually you should be properly connected what is that one this side is a four pin that side is a four pin so four after the five five after six six is output terminal and then seventh is a okay plus vcc so that's all very simplest connection you can make and then you are going to get the waveform Thank you.